Sí, sí, sí. What do you guys think of my new hat? I already showed it on the other camera, but I don't think I kind of caught the, the whole essence of the hat when I was indoors because we were inside of there, which is like a little artisanal swap shop type of thing. Let me see if I can show you a little bit of that. But anyways, as soon as I wear the hat, oh my God, everybody comes after me like I'm a tourist. Straight up tourist. Wait, I don't know if you guys can see. I already went with my other camera to show you guys, but you know, it's just a huge, huge warehouse as far as the eyes can see. Um, just full of all kinds of arts and crafts and coconuts and water and just all kinds of things. Very beautiful thing. And uh, this is where I got this hat. And um, like I said, as I was, when I was walking through here without the hat, no one was saying anything. The minute that I, the minute that I had the hat on, oh my God, I was being, being attacked, you know, mauled, mauled like uh, the tourist that I am. But um, yeah, man, look how windy it is. Look how beautiful it is. I hope you guys can hear me. And by the way, you know what the fun part about being out here with Christian is? Is the fact that she, she, she every time that we're walking in Merida, walking anywhere, I'm always like a hundred steps ahead of her. She's always like, slow down, slow down. And then here, I'm the one that's behind. She's the one that's ahead the whole fucking time. I feel like a fucking uh, slow poke McGee over here because I'm filming everything and doing all kinds of shit. And she's just like, hurry up, hurry up. You know, da, da. I, I want to see everything. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, because like I, I, I'm always so fast. So I, I, I like to switch it around. I, I like to be the one that's, uh, you know, behind. I guess. All right. So right here is. Um, oh, okay. So this is um, El Antiguo Almacén de Madera y Tabaco. So what what this is, is literally. Oh, look at that! Look at that huge ass bicycle, behind that. This is so beautiful and picturesque. Look at the ocean, the other side of Cuba over there. Choppy waters. So what this is, is um, I guess the warehouse of wood and tobacco. So a wood and tobacco warehouse. So I guess they go both go together because when they're rolling tobaccos, um, they put them in the wooden boxes and uh, bam, it's on the port, on the ocean. You know, a lot of historical perspective, the horses, just like we have in Medina. Like, where's my five coop for the for the picture? So we're here right now. We're in the ferry terminal. This is a ferry um, that takes you to the other side of Cuba. Lands here, vice versa. You know, so it's a little ferry, a little doggy. Super cute. But see, look, those are people getting off the ferry over there.
What's that? Is it like a mosque or something or church? Isn't that? Right. Vamos a cruzar, vamos a cruzar la calle. I think this is like a famous ice cream place. I think that's only one famous. Almost bit Christian and bit somebody else, and we just thought he was just being friendly, but he's not being friendly. He was just a uh, poor guy. Oh, I want to leave. No, 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 no. I ya comimos ahora mismo. Gracias, gracias. Aquí no, 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 ya, ya, esto es otra cosa, ¿verdad? Pero, pero bueno, probate la croquetica esa, ¿verdad? So, así es la de jamón, pero con sabor a jamón. Y es pink por dentro, ¿tú sabes? Esa era de pollo. Oh, yeah, so that thing that we were eating, that was a croquette, you know? So, you remember, well, in another video, what we were trying to do yesterday, we got some croquettes that were fancy croquettes, and this was better, right? And this was a... Uh, you know, the ones over there cost like an arm and a leg, and then these croquettes cost 15 cents. Way better, right? Now, I mean, we don't know where the fuck the chickens came from, but that's another story, but... Look at that. We're all into our own little thing here, and... Uh, you know, I was telling her that, you know, out here reminds me of... I know it's I know it's not Disney World, but it's like that Disney World feel because you're like in another fucking planet, and everybody is playing their their character. Everyone's playing who you know who they are, except for you, the tourist. Oh look, no, there's there's uh, the rum. Ah, pero no se puede tirar el video. This is look. This is the rum museum, but we cannot. Uh, it says we can't take film inside of there. So, all right. Let me see, let me see what we do. We're gonna, we're gonna see what we uh, figure out, okay? Well, we can do a little filming. The whole place is under restoration, so I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. Look at this. So I know what this is. This, this right here is to stick the sugar cane. You get the sugar cane and you stick it on the, you stick the sugar cane at the other end. Here. You stick the sugar cane in through here. And then, 
it comes out this way, you crush it, and then juice comes out. And then that juice, that juice is that uh, taken out, then that stuff is uh, boiled down, and then the sugars from that. And there's a process, but that's what they make the rum out of. So it's like literally pure cane sugar, you know, from from uh, from cane, you know, from sugar cane. So sugar cane is like these. Uh, in case no one knows, it's like sugar cane. It's like that. And then um, they process it, and then they make sugar crystals or rum or other things. So we're just checking this place out a little bit, the little courtyard, but there's not really much to see because the whole place is under restoration at the moment. And that sucks. So we can't buy rum or anything. So we're gonna get back and get some rum at a store back home. So, or by where we're staying. No, estoy tirando muy video. Ay, pero mira, no sabía que... Por aquí, ¿te acuerdas? Sí. Casa Benito Juarez, that's a Mexican famous guy. And there's a kitty cat.
You can see the Venezuelan flag all the way at the end. I know you can't really see it, but I can't really film in there. They're closed. Deal with it. Ah, so 20 pesos. Sí, también. Oh, y de esponja, tienen esponja de... Esponja de mar. Sí, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos son las esponjas? Cinco. No, está bien. These are oranges. Sí, a bichuela, ya. ¿Cómo le dicen allá? Ay, no me acuerdo. Ya sé. Ya sé. Ya sé. Cuban pizza. How is it? Ya estoy grabando, estoy grabando. One dollar. No, actually not like not one dollar. Uh, Fifteen cook. So the pizza, we already had the pizza, we went to go buy it. Um, I had to keep the camera away because it was raining. Still raining a little bit. But we finally got the, the Cuban pizza and it was 15 cook. So that's like 75 cents, 60 cents for pizza, so 60 cent pizza. I think it's eh, like most people do and uh, she actually likes it because she's starving. But it's um yeah, it's just like, you know, again, poor people food out here, you know, it's like what the typical Cuban eats and stuff, so, you know, we got our bag, we got it full of water, we, were, we just had some beer, look, Cuban beer, for like, I think it was like a dollar, it? it's really good, actually, too, really good, really good Cuban beer, and we're just out here just, uh, just chilling, wilding. And I said, we're just sitting on the street, literally. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hmm. ¿Tú tienes el mapa o no? Yo sé que estamos cerca, lo que no sé exactamente. Ah, yo creo que es para allá, es para allá. Sí, pues estamos en Obispo, aquí para Lamparilla. Yo pensé que estábamos en Lamparilla. Okay. Wow. para acá sí, estamos cerquita ya, ya estamos cerquita creo ah ya ya mira mira eso es lo que están arreglando en la casa <risa> Sí, pero lo Ah, 
5, ¿no? ¿Cinco? No, pero ese es uno. Oh, ¿Cuánto es? Tiene que ser 25. Oh, 25. ¿Está bien? Dale. Gracias, gracias. Ya, yeah, perfecto. Sí, 5 pesos por todo eso. 5 pesos mexicanos. 5 pesos mexicanos. ¿Está rico? Sí. Mira, azúcar, ¿no? ¿eh? 